Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project e-commerce portal and I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version is PHP version 7 and the MySQL version is 5.6. I am running this project in XAMPP server but you can easily run this project on WAMP server and also Linux environment as well as the Mac system. So for running this project on the Linux means in your Ubuntu system you need the LAMP means Apache, uh, MySQL and PHP and for running it in the uh, mac you need the map server so this is the server technology and the backend technology so for front end i am using the html css and javascript and some of the jquery library but uh, jquery library for giving some good effect just uh, you are seeing that there is a slider running on the home page so this slider has been created by the jquery and I have also I am also using the date plugins and the validation plugins of the jQuery uh, for validating the forms. Okay, so this is the technology uh, descriptions. Now uh, let's start with the project functionality. So the project title is the e-commerce portal, and there is only a single user role system that is a customer. There is no admin role inside it. So this is a mini project. It's not a major project so the main functionality of the project is customer will be able to see the product and he will be able to add the product into the cart and make the payment and see his purchase history so this is the main concept of the product let's start with the functionality so this is the home page of the product and all these products are coming from the database so this is the totally dynamic section and if you click on the product then you will be able to see the products although also if all if any products related to that product will be displayed just below the product right this is the about of the project so you can change the content from uh, admin pan, uh, from the uh, html file directly this is the all product section so all if currently there are 10 products available but if you want more products then you can add any number of products here and those products will be displayed here right and if you click on the, any of the product then you will be able to uh, see the product details also the related product just below the image right so this is the all companies so if you want to uh, filter the product uh, as companies uh, then you will be able to do that just just if you clicking on the ham list then you will be able to see the product of the hamlets only right and if you click on the all types mean if you want to filter out the products according to the types then you will be able to do it from here also right if you click on that types then you will be able to see the products of that types only this is the login section from where customer will be able to log in and for uh, making for uh, purchasing any of the product it's mandatory to uh, log inside the system without it a customer will not be able to uh, make the payment or purchase any of the things right so if customer doesn't have the credential then he will be able to uh, register from this page and this is the contact us page from where customer will be contact to anyone but this is uh, also a static page and i am not saving the data anywhere in the database okay so i am logging I am going to log in as a customer and uh, uh, may, uh, buying some project right uh, products right so I am logging as a customer here and now this is the customer dashboard then what the customer can perform so, and customer can see the my order six sections also he will be able to see that order details customer will be able to update his my account details and change password now i am going to uh, shop some of the things right this is the all product section i am going to add this one now this is one and uh, now this is two and all product section this is three and then all products and this one four so now i have added four items into the cart so these four items are available and if you want to update the quantity then you can do it also here and again just click on the place order and after that it's saying that total amount you need to pay is 5940 and just enter the card number right it's a dummy payment it's not a real payment 
right? And type expiry date and the CV number and make payment. So once you click the click on the make payment, then you will be able to see uh, the order confirmation that the your order number is ten. And if you click on the my orders, then you will be able to see that order details, right? Then this is the 590 and if you click on the review details then you will be able to see the details of that order okay so this is all about the project that e-commerce portal normally e-commerce is the electronic commerce where you will be able to uh, buy something right okay so this is again i'm saying this is a mini project with a single user or login that is a customer there is no admin role here but i have a separate project which has the customer and the admin role so you can search it on my website and the or the video or the youtube channel you will get the same product the same project with admin functionality also so if you need more enhancement in this project just put it in the comment i will incorporate those changes in the project and thanks for watching the video thank you very much